decision making for MBA entrance test. Just I will come to the point. Now you got a very solid background. Why decision making is required and how to do it? What are the elements? What are the skills? Then once we will come to the question level of the decision making, which generally asked in your JAT, then you will feel much easier to solve it because background is strong now. JAT asked data decision making questions on regular basis. How in simple way decision making can be explained? First thing I want to explain or understand decision making, it is a many to one problem. Multiple option you have to convert in one meaningful option, many to one problem. It is a combination of your verbal reasoning and logical reasoning. Now I am, dis I am everything I will tell in your terminology, whatever you are day to day dealing with that during your CAT preparation, LR, DR, LR, VR, DI, like that. It is a combination of VR and LR. Decide frame of reference to choose one among various choices. If your frame of reference is not decided, then what will happen? Maybe four final options you have and all four options you will find it is correct or it is a good. But always you keep in mind before starting or before solving this situation, what was your frame of reference? Sometimes frame of reference will be there only getting the high profit. Sometimes frame of reference will be there your core business idea. Sometimes frame of reference will be there your main mission of the company. It will be indicated in your situation. Nobody will tell by a speakers. No, you have to understand this is the core reference. Based on that out of these four evaluated option, which one will be best? It should not contradict with your frame of reference. Then frame of reference understanding is much much. I will just give you one of the example. Like uh, one of the companies there, like their male and female both are working, every company working. Most of the company this proportion will not numerically maintained. Like it is not like a very democratic way 50% male, 50% female. No, based on the requirement, based on the uh, uh, job profile. Somewhere it will be 70, 30, somewhere it will be reverse of that depends on the situation or type of work. Just suppose one of the girl is working in one of the company. She felt not one time during that three, four years tenure of working, something unfair is happening with girls. Maybe in terms of height, in terms of, uh, in terms of work environment, in terms of weightage, in terms of career growth, in terms of promotions, everything females are treated as a second level of employee. Now she thought, I want to remove this condition, but here I am not the management people, how I can do it? Then she decided, I will open my own startup, I will open my own company where core ethics will be there, male and female should be balanced. In any of the aspect, starting from number itself 50%, 50%, it will not differentiate in at any ground. And she has done it. She opened the own company and she hired 50% male, 50% female. Slowly, slowly company has started to grow. It has expanded in four or five cities of India or maybe any of the country. And after that, it has become international. Two, three branches has uh, set, uh, branches has opened in other country. Now, issue was started. What kind of issue? Issue was started, workload has increased and every employee having certain pressure to stress your working hour. And second, you have to travel to other centers other offices of different city. If both of condition has applied to the female employee, female employee are not able to cope up. I am not telling they are not intelligent or they are not caliber, but because they have the additional responsibility of family and children and their physical you can say fragility, we can't expect that much, that much toughness whatever male employee can be sometimes then many of the thing many of the times this owner of the company has started to feel this female employee is not able to fulfill the company requirement 
C is not able to travel. Whenever we are telling C is taking long time to take decision, 10 days, okay, after this we will go, after this we will go. C is making so many things settle down, then C, is, C will be able to go another city. That is their personal reason. We can't avoid it. And afterwards, if working hour can be stressed easily by male employee, female employee is not able to stress. After telling repeatedly, C is able to stay with very planned way in one day in a week. And that is hampering the progress of the company. And finally, that hampering is reflected their balance sheet. Now, this owner or you can say CEO of this company who left her company where she was working and opened her own company based on the very basic and fundamental core principle of equality of male and female. She is getting disturbed. Now she is thinking what to do. This is ethical dilemma. We should reduce the number of female employee or we should fire few of the female employee or we should hire the more male employee. All will have some expenses and that expenses can be compensated in our company profit or our revenue generation, again it is a matter of debate. Now what C should do? Like you and me, we can say we should look our business, we should look our business but C is in totally contradicting state because this is the fundamental reason I opened this company and I started my this business. I cannot contradict my this frame of reference to take any decision. She cannot contradict with the equality of the gender and based on that she has to take decision. What will they will they will just categorize the work in different different way which work female can do easy way or she can maintain their their efficiency and which work male can do in better way or male can manage it and their efficiency will not disturb much or will not decline much. But frame of reference will not change, equality of gender will not change due to I, I told one situation or one story. To understand this, never forget for taking any decision what is the core frame of reference. Now we will come to the next point, it is a mental process of identification, possible options comparison and decide the course of actions for a situation and problem. We understood this is a, this is a sequence. Correct? This is a common, we can, we will just use it. It is a subset of case study method. It is a subset of case study method for analyze the problems. Just we look, once we are moving ahead, either kuha, either khai, kahi bhi jao, problem hi problem how to go in any particular way, how to choose this path or this path or 